The 2023 MacBook Pros have, for many people, left a lasting impression of being disappointing and unnecessary. This got me thinking, is there a better laptop for less money? If you're looking for the best bang for the buck, you can't go wrong with Windows. So in this video, I'll share five laptops that I think are a better choice than 2023 MacBook Pros. But tell me one thing, what is the best part about MacBook Pros? The display, the design, the keyboard, no, the power. Most people buying these laptops are doing it because of the impressive performance of M1 chips. These chips may be efficient all they want, but their efficiency is their wrongdoing in this case, because in the world of Windows laptops, there are no rules or limits. But I won't start with the most expensive laptop, no. I'll start with this Asus ProArt StudioBook 16 OLED. The laptop comes with a 24-core 32-thread Intel Core i9, 13980HX, 32 gigs of RAM, and video. 4070 GPU and one terabyte of storage. Whoa, that's a lot of numbers. We'll talk more about its performance later, so let's quickly cover the design. The laptop is made of aluminum and has this nice matte black finish. It does flex a little when you put pressure on it, but it's a common trait of almost all Windows laptops. The display rim is plastic, which kind of makes it look cheap, but that shouldn't be an issue for the most part. As for the ports, this studio book packs a lot of them. A lot. Two USB-C, two Thunderbolt, one HDMI port, gigabit, Ethernet, SD card reader, and of course, headphone jack. It has a backlit keyboard with a numpad and has more key travel than a MacBook does. What else? Oh, the display is also impressive. It's a 16 by 10, 16 inch panel with 3.2K resolution, 15 nits of peak brightness, full DCI-P3 support, and stylus support. Stylus is included in the box too. Impressive specs, right? I haven't even told you about that special knob under the keyboard and three button touchpad. The touchpad is made specifically for people who frequently do pens, orbiting, and other manipulations in 3D space. And that dial is specifically designed to provide supreme precision while adjusting parameters. Okay, back to that performance. The i9 in this laptop easily outperforms M2 Pro in single and multi-core, in some tests by a lot. And the GPU almost doubles the performance of a standard M2 Pro graphics. And do you want to hear the best part? This laptop costs only $2,000. Just like the base 14-inch MacBook Pro, but you get more CPU and GPU power, more RAM and storage, bigger and better display, special bells and whistles for creators, and the versatility of Windows. Sounds like a great deal. Moving on, next we have Lenovo Pro 7i Gen 8. With its impressive specs and cutting-edge features, this laptop gives Apple's MacBook Pro a serious run for its money. This Lenovo packs an Intel Core i9 13900HX processor, 12GB RTX 4080 graphics card, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 512GB SSD. And all that can be yours for only $2850. It's not the best bargain out there, but for the money you'll get a really powerful machine. And not just powerful, but on a whole new level. This i9 is so powerful that it beats M2 Max in every domain except power consumption. Single core, check. Multi core, check. If you really need raw computing power, this chip will deliver. And I'm not even talking about graphics yet. 4080 in this machine has 12 gigs of memory, which is almost as much as MacBook has of its unified memory. For example, in the GFX benchmark, the 4080 runs circles around M2 Max without a sweat. Twice as many FPS in every test, that's impressive without a doubt. The only thing that's worse is the power consumption. It's insane when compared to the one of a MacBook. On top of all that, this Lenovo has a 240Hz display and undoubtedly more ports. So yeah, with $2800 you can go much further in the world of Windows. But you can go even further with the sponsor of today's video. Let me tell you about this amazing Ugreen USB-C 9-in-1 docking station that has been a total game changer for my MacBook setup. As a MacBook user, I know firsthand how frustrating it can be to find a docking station that ticks all the boxes. High quality display support, versatile connectivity options, fast file transfer and reliable charging. But this thing covers all my needs. First of all, the display link expansion scheme is a game changer. 
With the USB-C port, I can now connect and display dual monitors up to 4K 60Hz. Plus, I have the flexibility to choose whether I want to display the same content on both monitors or have different content on each one. But that's not all. The Ugreen docking station offers incredible expansion options with two HDMI ports, two display ports, one part delivery USB-A port, two USB-A's, one USB-C and one gigabit Ethernet port. I can connect almost any device I need through this single docking station. File transfer is a breeze with this docking station too. With its high speed transmission of 10 GBs per second, I can transfer huge files in seconds. This docking station also supports up to 100 watt charging for my laptop, which is super handy and really removes clutter from my desk. Honestly, this Ugreen USB-C 9-in-1 docking station made my workflow smoother, more organized, and more efficient. If you are in need of a powerful and versatile docking station that can handle all your connectivity needs, this is definitely the one to check out. So click the link below to learn more, and now let's get back to it. Now, how about we cut 100 bucks of that price and check out the Dell XPS 15. I I think XPS laptops need no introduction. Sleek, powerful, with great design and versatility. This one is no exception. It has a super powerful Core i9 13900H chip, RTX 4070 graphics card, 16 gigs of memory, and 512 gigs of storage. These specs once again will smoke the M2 Pro and M2 Max in terms of performance. The display is also not disappointing in any way. 3.5K at 400 nits with touch support. The keyboard is also backlit. It, that goes without saying at this price point. But what I personally think is the best about this laptop is its design. It has really narrow borders and glass on top, which kind of takes it up that tier of 10% Windows laptops that actually have some design. Uh, what else? Its palm rest and top case have this nice texture which makes them durable and low-key stylish. There is not much to say about this laptop. It's Dell. What else can you expect? Great laptop for a great price plus great service program and repairability. Okay, let's make it interesting once again. The next laptop on my list is Asus ROG Strix SCAR 17. I'll begin by saying that this is the most confusing naming ever. But if I put that aside, this is a great laptop. 17.3 inch 2.5K display with 240Hz refresh rate and full DCI-P3 support make it great for gaming and work. The Ryzen 9 chip with its 16 cores and relatively low 55 watt TDP paired with a 12 gig RTX 4080 ensure breathtaking performance. In tests, this processor completely demolishes M2 Pro and M2 Max. It gives almost double the performance in virtually every test. In some benchmarks like Cinebench, the Ryzen shows three times more power than Apple made chips and the graphics, oof, 4080 is a beast without a doubt. With 12 gigs of memory and tons of cores, any render will be like a walk in the park for this thing. On top of that, 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage, that is double of what the base M2 Max MacBook Pro has. If you were to spec out the MacBook Pro to get at least 60% performance of what this laptop has, you'll need to pay a whopping $3,300. And that will only be the 14 inch model. The 16 inch will set you back $3,500. This is at least $400 more than Asus for half the performance. And have I told you that it has more ports than a MacBook, HDMI, two Type-C ports, two USB-A ports, microphone jack, and RJ45 for gigabit ethernet. Somehow it lacks the SD card reader, so that can set you back a couple dollars in case you need to buy the adapter. From a technical standpoint, this Asus is a marvel. It packs impressive performance while still looking modern and custom a decent amount of money. Yet, if you decide to buy this Rock Strix, you need to be ready for two things. A very loud cooling system and plastic body. Yeah, those are inevitabilities in the world of gaming laptops. The final contestant takes everything even further, to extremes. The Razer Blade 16 is a premium gaming laptop known for its design, performance, and display. Let's look at each aspect closer. The Razer Blade 16 features a slim and stylish design with a durable aluminum chassis. By its look and feel, it gives that sense you get from the latest MacBooks, rugged yet elegant. If you thought previously mentioned laptops were fast, this laptop will blow you away. It's powered by the latest generation Intel Core i9-13950HX 
paired with 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM and a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 graphics card. This combination delivers exceptional gaming performance, smooth multitasking and fast rendering for demanding tasks like video editing or 3D rendering. It also has 32 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte storage as standard. The 24 core CPU may not be that far from M to Max with its 50 to 100% gains, but the graphics RTX 90 is a demon when it comes to performance. It has 16 gigs of memory alone. That's all the memory the base 16 inch MacBook Pro has. And GFX Bench, Manhattan off screen, for example, it's two times faster than M2 Max. In Aztec Ruins, it's 35 to 150% faster. In other words, it smokes the MacBook GPU in graphics intensive tasks and renders. On top of that, the Razer Blade 16 features a stunning 16-inch 4K display, providing crisp visuals and smooth gameplay. It also supports HDR for improved color accuracy and contrast, making it ideal for gaming, content creation consumption. It also has a myriad of fours, one Thunderbolt, one Type-C, and three Type-A super-fast USBs plus HDMI and card reader. But the most impressive thing is that it comes with a Windows Hello IR, facial recognition camera for quick and secure login. Basically, it's Face ID for Windows. Any way you look at this laptop, it's amazing. The only thing you may not like is the price tag, $4,300. That's a lot. But for that price, you're getting a powerhouse for the next five years. As you see, there are many alternatives to MacBooks out there. There are dozens of Windows laptops that are cheaper and pack better specs. And if you want to do some crazy work and play games afterwards, you won't find a better deal than a gaming laptop. So yeah, think about these laptops when you have a chance and see you in the next one.